همچون کلام نشنال سمیل اتوزی کارت فراکو مدلو آن در پرفرمانس آف پیکاپو ایت پیزی جو این در خریس سکسی بولو This was made known as the Swarov jointly organized by the Senate and House of Representatives Committee on Appropriations. The Minister of State for Budget, Zainab Ahmed, Zainab Ahmed, however, blamed the low performance on shortfall. She added that although the total revenue in Italy was 1.5 million Swiss trillion lira, only 398 billion naira was generated in the 2016 fiscal year. There's a revenue shortfall of about 1.15 trillion naira. The minister also said the federal government had achieved 55% performance on the 870 billion naira capital expenditure. Moving on to the euro bond. The debt, the debt manager office on Thursday listed the federal government's $1 billion euro bond on the Nigerian stock exchange NSE platform. The Director General, DMO, Dr. Abraham Wangfo, made this known during the bond listing at the NSE in Lagos. Dr. Wangfo said that the euro bond was raised under reasonable terms for fronting of capital expenditure stated in the budget. He said the project includes railways, bridges, and power. He added that the bond was the first ever foreign currency bond to be listed on the exchange. And now to come this thing. The Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, has, closed, has disclosed that 3 million Nigerians had lost 80 billion naira in the Mavrodi Mondial Movement Ponzi scheme, popularly called MMM. This was made known by the managing director of the corporation, Omari Ibrahim. While speaking at the NDIC, while speaking at the NDIC day, at the ongoing 30th Kadna International Trade Fair on Thursday. He lamented that despite repeated warnings by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and the NDIC, Nigeria still patronized MMA. The MD emphasized that frequent usage of virtual currencies as medium of exchange are internet based transactions and are not authorized by the CBN due to the risk involved involved in their operation. That is the morning news. Thanks for watching. I'm Jordi Karat. For the past couple of weeks, we have undergone training and practice for this weekend and we are grateful for this opportunity to have you watch us today. On today's edition of your favorite business program, we will be discussing the effects of recession on Nigerian children. But before then, here is a message by Ibuku Ishaku on the theme of International Children's Day of Broadcast of 2017, Early Childhood Development, Key to Every Child's Development and Prosperity. It is 